This is an unedited video of me showing 10 extremes, be beginner extremes, that if you're planning on beating one, then I would recommend one of these 10, depending on what you like. So we got fast-paced stuff, we got timing-based stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this down. It's kind of loud. So, first one, it shouldn't be a big surprise. Um, it is Tartars. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I personally think, well, yeah. It's, you, you kind of have to beat this, to be honest. So, let me go through just a, gu a, gu a guide, sort of. I'm going to go through, like, a quick guide for each of these levels. So, let's go into practice, shall we? Okay, <laughs> turn off the SFX. So this first jump, all right, pretty basic, all right. It's, it's a bit annoying at first, but like, you know, whatever. All right, and then you got, then you got this, all right. This is really hard, obviously. If, in my opinion, I think holding is not a good option, as it's, it's just way harder to do, and you have to like utilize like like hitbox stuff on like the edge of blocks. So I would like I would like use two clicks here. One to like go up into that gap and then one to go down. Alright. Because let's be honest, holding is just way harder. I mean it's 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 doable, it's just hard. So yeah. We well, like a split second and then you, you just go, you know. This, I mean, it's it's simple. You just do that. Um, this UFO, um, you want to double click here, and then you want to click, not not like, you want to click as soon as you make contact with that gravity portal, and then you're gonna land. Don't, can you even single click there? I think you can. Well, whatever. And then you just like, yeah, just that. That that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then this this you just literally click once and like auto, and then you hit those three blue orbs, all right. And then you just and then you hold and then you'll go through those spikes, all right. What? Anyways, I thought my dad was calling. That just ruined the whole fucking video. Anyways, literally just click once, that's auto. Click three times, hold. You're, you're done. Alright. Then you you want to hit these orbs. Don't hit this one immediately. You want to time that, like... Like, a little bit... Not not immediately, but, like... It, it's hard to describe. You want to, like, land on, like, the center of it. You want to click when your line, when your cube is aligned with the center of it. Not like in the middle of the orb, but like imagine like imagine like a line that like shows like the diameter of like the, the of the orb. You want to click like when your icon is in the middle of that line. I, it's hard to describe. And then you just hit those three orbs. Jump, jump. Triple click there. Some people, um... What?! I'm recording a video! <sighs> Anyways, I'm so sorry, guys. So, you can either... Do four clicks there. And then do the orbs. Or you can... What, I, what I've been doing, but it's, it's, it's just preference. You just click, and then triple click. It doesn't matter, and then you just fall down and hit this orb. And then... You want to wait a little bit, and then double click. And then you're going to hit the blue orbs. Pretty, pretty simple.
you just hold them. It's really simple. And then hit those four orbs. And then... Yeah. Actually, don't hit them immediately. You want to wait like, a little bit on that blue orb. Click these three as fast as humanly possible. Wait, can you? Okay. Sorry, curiosity is getting the best in there. Um, just hit those orbs really fast. And then this way, you can do it however you want. You can, a lot, what it, like 99% of people do, they click here and they hit the purple orb. Instead of doing this, like some awkward timing. And then the ship. First off, this is probably one of the main things you need to practice. Um, yeah. This is like probably the hardest part of the level, not including 40. So first off, simple straight fly. That's not that's not bad, All right? And then this. That can be really annoying. What I recommend is don't hold into it, as sometimes you will just like phase into the block. If I can replicate it here. <coughs> oh my gosh. I sneezed, but I saw it. I faced into the block. So just... Kind of like before, at like 2%, you want to like... Clip. I just teleported. You want to like... Just not hold. You want to click as soon as you hit that gravity change. And then you just want to hold long enough to... And then you let go to go through that gap. It's, it's really just the entry that's that messes people up a lot. And then this. Um, this isn't too bad, actually. What I recommend is, is aligning your ship with the center of the gravity switch and clicking as soon as you hit it. Alright. Just align as close to the center as possible and just click. Not like micro click. You wanna you wanna hold for like a fraction, all right? And then this is just straight fly. Um, they're not all flat spikes, all right? This one is a big spike, and this one is a big spike. So just be wary of that. This is just straight fly. That's like, this part's free. Just hit these orbs. Um, this UFO. It's simple, just click three times, click up three. And then 40. If I'm gonna be honest, from my experience, it's just entirely luck based. There's not a whole lot you can do to make it consistent. But if It, it really doesn't get consistent, if I'm going to be honest. I think your best bet to doing this somewhat consistently is to line with the middle of, like, the center between these two flat spikes, that gap, and then hold when your ship is in the middle of these two gaps, all right, when it's aligned with that. So that that's like your best option in my opinion. And then you just kind of gotta maneuver your you your way into like the gaps up in front. Double spike, click three orbs, and then the ball. Um really just You can you can even hit that and you'll be fine. But yeah. It can mess people up, especially if you're trying to like just buffer click it. Cause then if you buffer click it, sometimes you'll just land on that and then you'll just fall off. So try to avoid that. Hit those orbs, double click there, you're good to go. This section's pretty easy. Um just don't hit those blocks. Just hit well, I hit that block. And then hit that yellow orb. Triple click, 
triple click there. You want to you want to try to buffer click all of them. Um, this section has two ways of doing it. Um, but the original method is hit hit this blue worm, you'll learn two blue worms. You know whatever. What I've seen some people do is they time these yellow orbs. They time the first one a little late. Um, I personally think it's just harder, and I don't personally. I don't think it's worth learning. Um, I would just do whatever works best for you. So yeah. And then you just want to double click there, hit that blue word, you're good to go. All right. All right. I want you. I want you guys to learn a click pattern here. All right. Here's what you do. You. Actually, I haven't really thought of a click pattern. Shit. All right. Double click here. Tap, 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 tap. Just, just like Flappy Bird. All right. Just rhythmic tapping. And then you just work your way through that. That's actually that's easier than it looks. Um. Yeah. There's not not really tips I can do for that. And then. You want to hit that purple orb, all right? Triple spike. And don't hit this orb immediately, or you're just gonna die, all right? You want to hit it a smidge late, all right? And then you just hit all these orbs, except that one, obviously. Go up here, you know, whatever. And then that timing can be a bit iffy, all right? And then you, cut, you want to, like, pseudo spam here. Um, just hit that. You want to buffer click this, all right? And then you're gonna click shortly after that. I'm I'm sure you can buffer click it. Actually, I don't even know if you can. I mean, you can do that, but that's just hard. So don't click immediately. Just wait a smidge, and you'll be good. Those orbs. This section is, is harder than it looks. Straight fly, straight fly, and then this. That, that the hitboxes for these hedges are quite big. So just straight fly. The straight fly part isn't bad. It's just these hitboxes are weird. This section is easy. Hit these four blue orbs. Actually, what if you do go over here? Okay, I'm right. Hit, hit. Yeah, just hit those four blue orbs. Pretty simple. What, what the f <laughs> Okay, okay. And then hit these three, hold, and you'll just go over that guy. Oh! Actually, literally hitting these three blue orbs is a waste of time. Literally just hit that, and you're good to go. I, I've actually seen no one do this. From what I've seen, you literally just hit that and you're good. Hit that. This section's a bit weird because the pads and orb placements are strange, to say the least. You want to hit that one as soon as possible. You, you don't want to hit all of them. Like, you don't want to like buffer all of them because what can happen is well, that. You want to hit this one late. The second one a little bit late. Not too late, obviously. Because then that can happen. Yeah. And 82 is tricky. Um, you just want to go up there. This just takes practice. Especially this. 83 is hard. Might, might. When your ship is in line with that spike, start holding and then you'll make it. It's consistent. And that's how you do it. Oh my 
god. And then this part's not too bad. Just fly. Don't do that. Hit these orbs. Simple. Hit, do that. And then 95. Believe it or not, there's it's not luck based, right? I can probably do it every try. If I wanted to. But. Easiest shit ever. So remember the concepts earlier in the video about the the portals at like um, twenty seven I think it was. You wanna you wanna like click as soon as you hit this. Just like like if you're too low, then do a micro click. If you're too high, you wanna click longer. You just wanna stay as close to the middle. Oh, and that's that's pretty easy too. Okay. Wanna, you want to like double click, right? Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. See? Double, double, there. Double, double. And you want to start each double click. And you you, you want to do you you don't want to do fast double clicks, right? Like, because then you'll just get bad positions most of the time. So just sleep. Like, like, almost like a rhythm. And you want to start them as soon as you hit these gravity chains, so... So just double, double, there. Alright. And then... That, that's easy. I mean, you shouldn't really die there. So yeah, that's... I'm going to do one at a time to high CDX. If I beat your first attempt, you guys have to subscribe. Probably gonna die at 40, but whatever. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Alright, I guess you guys don't have to subscribe. Damn. Well, that's really my guide to ICDX. Um, I'm, not, I'm probably gonna scratch the idea of... Just doing 10 extremes in one video, because let's be honest, that's gonna take literally hours. So, I think I'm just gonna split it up into a 10-part series. So... Where you guys go. Next up is Cataclysm. Alright, to be honest, Cataclysm, it's a must complete. So, here's the guide. First off. Anyways, so this simple, alright. Micro click there, because well, obviously if you hold just like a little too long. Dang, you're gonna dock, right? Coin's optional. If you are gonna go for the coin, don't insta click that. You wanna hit it late. But let's be honest, who really cares about the coins? What? Okay, I, I got worried. Um, just hit those purple orbs, and then yeah. And then you're gonna think that's auto. It's not, alright? You got trolled so hard, so just hold a little bit there. This wave is actually really hard, um, especially the second half of it, because the times are just, they're just, they're just hard. This isn't too bad, just like, weave your way in between, simple enough, alright? This section's a bit weird. You want to double click. For each of those like large waves, and you want to like, yeah, you, you know, you know what I mean. Although that last one can be a bit finicky. This part is the is the thing I'm talking about. This shit's hard, all right. 
this, you, you really just need to grind into copyable, because it's just, it's just hard. Even I can't do it consistently. See, look. I'm not even getting, I'm not even getting attempts at it. Okay, I did it then. You really, this is probably like one of the first things you want to grind. But just really try to focus on where the wave is positioned after each timing. takes a lot of like grinding. I, I can't really give tips for this. Oh. Yo! Yo! New way! I never knew that. Anyways, main point. Just do that. It's easier. Auto. Hit this purple orb. You're good to go. Alright. Now, this this ship is AIDS in my opinion. Um sometimes. Your, your many from there to like there, all right? So you, you you need to have knowledge of that and just take advantage of it. I'd say when your many ship go more, go more upwards than downwards, all right? Because most of the time you're just gonna hit that spike. So you wanna go, you have more room to go up than you think. So you need to take advantage of that. Although be careful of that spike. And then you want to go down immediately. Hit this, that's simple, right? And then there's a mini portal here, so be wary of that. And then there's a reverse portal right there. And then you're, you're going to be big, but the rest of the ship isn't that bad. Oh my god. That's just straight fly. This is, this is easy. Nothing to explain there. This, um, just, just time it, really. Um, nothing too much to explain there. And then, this, you want to, like, pseudo spam, sort of. Like, whoa! I'm breaking this level within every minute, aren't I? Alright, anyways. You, you want to have like a rhythmic pattern of like... Cop try to copy this tempo when you're doing this. And you want to do it again there. Except you want to buffer click that yellow word. And then that's just the timing. And then this, you want to hit that. You want to, you want to click sooner than you think because, well, you're going faster than normal. <coughs> Jesus. All right. Um, this section used to be really hard for me, but it's not terrible, so. Um, you, you have more room to wait than you think. Alright. So, just take, take advantage of that. Obviously not too late like that. And you, you, you don't want to click immediately, you want to click a smidge after you touch it. And then just wait a little bit. You, again, you have more room than you think. And then just hit this blue orb immediately. Or not, not blue, Jesus. Purple. And then... Click. Not too soon, obviously. And then that's auto. Double click here. And then you just work your way there. Simple. Um, on This is actually nerfed. Because old Cataclysm, 40 was like damn near impossible. Um, so... Thankfully, it's easier. Th this isn't too bad. The first straight fly. But that many straight fly can be quite frustrating. Um, and also, you can, if you're 
gonna play old Kata instead, but why not just be new Kata? Because it's rated. Um, just practice this a lot. All right. This is probably like within the top three hardest parts of the level. And kind of like with ICDX, you want to click a soon. Well, you want to align with the middle of this and just click as soon as you can to get like the most optimal alignments for it. And then hit those orbs. That's not too bad. Just make sure you let go. Just make sure you let go there. Because sometimes it can be awkward. That timing can be frustrating. This cube in general is frustrating at first. Um, you just want to hit that late. There's nothing a whole lot to explain there. Well, there might be. Just, just hit it in the center. Like that. And don't, bu don't ball for click those. You want to wait just like a you just want to wait like a hair there. All right. If you ball for clicky, you're you're gonna have barely any room to do the blue orb timing, like probably a couple frames. And obviously, you don't want that. So just wait it like a hair on that purple orb to get a better alignment, like that. Ugh, crap, my eyes itchy. Anyways. This section, you just need to practice. And then you want to bump click there, hit, hit the two blue orbs. You want to hit the first one like immediately, alright? Because if you hit it late, you're going to have like a really weird timing window for that second blue orb. Um, and then, don't. Yeah, I think what used to, what used to be one of my bad habits was like holding after that second word. So you re again, you really need to practice this a lot. And just hit that blue word, pretty simple. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can do it the standard way by just clicking four times fast. So if you if you hold, then you're gonna have like a really weird alignment. Wait. If if you like if you like um you 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 don't want to like hold in between them you just want to do like micro clicks like like that all right or you can do it the swag way which obviously I like to do um you can just time this late actually now that I think of it it's probably easier so just do that or you can do, it doesn't really matter. Hit this, hit this immediately, um, hold, time that, and then you're into the fun section, alright? What I recommend doing is don't, don't, don't like find a rhythm, well, find a rhythm, but like, don't make all four clicks like the same length in my opinion, because in, in my opinion, it just makes it harder. What I like to do is just click buffer, click buffer, click buffer. That's what I like to do. But it, it's again, it's really just preference. You can even do click, click buffer, click. I, again, preference. Just do whatever works best for you. So I think I think I find it more consistent because like it yeah actually never mind scrap scrap doing your own do doing your own method just do this double click double click double click all right click buffer click buffer click buffer all right hit that purple word and then you're gonna this um i'm sure there's a ton of skips you can do yeah you, you can skip that if you want 
Actually, now that I think of it, it's probably easier to do that. So just skip that. Don't. Because it's just more clicks. Unless you want to, it doesn't really matter. And then you can do it the standard way. Well, technically not the standard way. But, yeah. Like, 99% of people just let go. And then, yeah. This section it just sucks. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You want you want to hit like not immediately, in my opinion, to just get a better position on that UFO. You want to be as low as possible, as close to that block as possible. All right. Even if you're just like a little bit upwards, you're you're at risk of hitting that. All right. So, whoa. So you can do this method and just wait a hair. And then you'll hit that purple orb. All right. I, I, I personally find doing this gives me just a slightly better position. I don't know if it's placebo or not, but uh, too far. I don't know. There's there's a lot that goes into this section. If you can't tell, this section sucks. This little mini mini ball sucks at first, but it's not too bad. You just gotta have good knowledge of where the spikes are. Just have them engraved in your head and just time them. Hit that yellow word. Don't hold, obviously. Oh, and also on this purple orb, you don't want to hit it like late. You want to hit it as soon as you can. Straight fly, that's simple. Don't do that. Don't be a, a stupid kid. And then just tap. And then click. Alright, this section is probably the most daunting section when you first start playing Cataclysm, alright? Because, let's be honest, this straight fly just looks really hard. It's not. Probably because well, I'm good at the game, but like, let's be honest, I, I, okay, maybe it's not that easy, according to my standards, but you, you don't want to just like straight fly through it, because like, the spikes are angled, alright? You want to dip down just like a minuscule amount, alright? So, like, not even that much. Actually, now that I think of it, it's probably just better to just do a normal straight fly through it. And then this section sucks. You just need to let go. There's nothing I can really do that's, like, specific. Oh my god. I'm sucking. Let's go. Okay, maybe, maybe you do need to dip in this one. Just do whatever works best for you. So, yeah, do that. And then back to this. This sucks. You, you don't want to let go soon, obviously. You want to be like... It, it's just so hard to explain. You just, you just gotta kind of mess around with it. You'll get a feel for it, alright? And then this... Don't like, don't like try to straight fly through it, because then it's just, it's just weird. Just do one stroke, and then and there you go. Simple enough. This don't don't do that. It's just a waste of time because one, it's it's just harder to do that than to do this, and it gives you a worse position to do that straight fly. So this is just way better. And that... The hitboxes seem bigger than you think. It, it's, it's a tough straight fight. This isn't bad. That That's a really fucking stupid straight fly. Alright, wave. Simple. Just... When, 
yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go over this, because, like, it's the hardest thing from what I've heard. Just click slightly earlier than you think. Because those saws are have relatively large hitboxes. Alright. And then if, if you think you're too low, just do, just do like a small click there, alright? Then just hold into that. Don't let go. Or you have like a weird position. Or you can even die. So just hold into it. Hit those orbs. If you want to go for the coin, it doesn't matter. You can do it. Well, actually. Yo! Okay, actually, it's probably just safer to do that. Can you die to that? Yo! You, you, don't, I, I wouldn't recommend buffer clicking all of these because I, it just puts you at greater risk for dying there, which is rare, but still. So don't like buffer clicking. You wanna like triple click somewhat fast, but yeah. This is simple, simple straight fly, don't die there. And you beat him catapult. Ugh, sorry for the shitty cold I have. But yeah, I'm gonna do one attempt on Cataclysm. See if I can screw off Microsoft. See if I can get far. Probably gonna die the wave. But yeah, I'm, I'm trash, alright. But yeah, there you go. A guide to ICDX and Cataclysm. Next up, on um, my next guide video, I'm going to be covering Hypersonic and Incipient, so be prepared for that. See you guys in the afterlife.